residue and just helps to get it ready so it can absorb the rain and helps our woods grow a little bit better. I'm going to flip this around so you all can see what's going on behind us. Last oh, fall, I guess, Brent, Brent Science Project, a lot of you all saw it, that they are no-till farmers. So all the turbo-till is doing is chopping up the re leftover residue from last season. And it's getting it ready to put some corn in the ground. Go hop in the tractor with his daddy here in a little bit to watch that. I'm going to make a pretty sharp turn up here. This turbo tilling, you can really go pretty fast. How fast are we going? About nine miles an hour. About nine miles an hour. About how fast do you go when you're planting? About five or six miles an hour planting corn. That may not sound very fast, but when you're in a tractor pulling a big old turbo till, it's pretty fast. Right now he's getting the end rows. They start with those. Just like you put a puzzle together, you do the outside first, get the border done, and then they'll get started with the long rows. You can kind of tell by the video that it's it's pretty fast in a tractor. You can see he's not working the ground up or you know plowing the ground. They're they do no-till farming. This is just turbo till, like he said chopping up the old um, the leftover stalks from last season getting the ground ready to put some corn in it they also do rotational planting practices so they don't plant the same crop back to back that helps that's a good conservation practice if you plant the same crop over and over and over without anything in between you're going to wear the ground out. It's no longer going to have good soil or good nutrients. I think he's getting ready to come back and pick me up. Hello, how are you today? We're planting corn today. We've got a 12 row planter. Um, this corn will be used for feed for our cows. Um, some of it will be silage uh, that we'll chop and put in bags to feed our milk cows and then others we'll uh, combine and use for grain and we'll put in uh, the grain bins and we'll grind it for uh, ground feed to feed, to feed our, either our milk cows or other cows. So most of my corn will be used for our own personal use. We don't sell our own corn unless we have extra. But uh, what I'm doing today is uh, uh, we're in a no-till field. This field's been burned down and sprayed with fertilizer twice. Um, he's, uh, Red's running a turbo till over it to uh, loosen up the ground just a little bit, make it where the uh, seed bed's a little more level. 
break up any clods or clumps or run over any tracks that were here left from last year in harvest. And then, uh, then we'll come back over and we'll spray it again and we'll uh, dribble some fertilizer over the top uh, once the corn comes up a little bit. Uh, I've got liquid tanks on my, on my uh, planter to uh, put down fertilizer in the row. We just put down about three to five gallons in the row uh, from a seed farmer that's on the planter. Um, I do not have GPS, so I'm following a row marker in the middle of my hood. Um, so that's kind of what I watch all day is the road mark, road, the row marker. And uh, then when I get to the end of the row, I pick up my row marker. And uh, on corn, you got to drive really, really straight because when you're spraying the corn with the sprayer got to follow those same rows and then also when you combine you've got to follow those same rows so you don't want those rows to be crooked whether other crops your header can uh, follow whether it's crooked or straight but your corn header runs the same same rows about two two and a half weeks ago they planted this side of the field and let's look I think we've got a little bit of corn stalks coming up there. You can see the the old sorghum stalks from last season. They planted this in sorghum and chopped it up for silage. Chopped it and bagged it and all that. But that's that's little baby corn stalks that were planted a little over two weeks ago.